How about the, yeah, there we go. There we go. Got some audio, or at least some waggling on the mixer. And we have our first game. So this is uh, a run through three hopefully interesting, well, assuredly interesting, probably awesome games. Uh, first one is Penguin Cafe, which is by, as you can see in the bottom corner, MPCKC, who also made, how did I already blank on the name of it? A game I played a couple months ago on stream. Um, damn. Anyway, uh, very cute game. That one was a Hot Springs. That's what it was. It's a game about going to the Hot Springs. Um, it was cool. So. I, this is a game about being at a cafe after you're stood up for a date. So, let's see what this is. Yes, One Night Hot Springs, that's it. Okay, so you, I think you have already been stood up at this point. So, I can do this, or I can't do this. Uh, I can do this. It's just a date, a coffee, really. It's just a date. I'm here already. I think I am being stood up. Hello? Oh, this is so cute! Okay, I love their art. Like, just their whole art style. Both games. Just great. Hello, I apologize for the wait. Totally okay. It's totally okay. I uh, love waiting. Is that so? Uh, yeah, definitely. Then would you mind waiting just a little bit longer? I'll be right back to take your order. That's fine. Thank you for your patience. <laughs> whoa or uh, that guy's pretty cute uh i'll go with whoa wait stop stop thinking brain uh wait stop sorry i can take your order now if you're ready just ordering for one no uh or i've got a date i i guess i should say i've got a date i've got a date coming after so Oh, if that's the case, would you prefer a table seat instead? You would have a bit more privacy. Not that I wouldn't love the company at the counter. Look at this home skillet up here. I'm still waiting, so... Could I sit here for now? Of course. May I take your order then? Just a coffee. Okay, any recommendations? I personally recommend our flat whites. I don't know what that is. I make a rather good one, if I may say so myself. Oh, good. A flat, a flat what? A flat white. Kind of like a latte with less froth. Oh. That sounds good. One flat white, then. Please make yourself at home. Maybe I should have waited. Should I order for two? I say neither of these things, but... Uh, maybe I should have waited. But I can't just sit here. Excuse me. Huh? Oh, um... Yes? One flat white. That was fast. At Penguin Cafe, we pride ourselves on speedy service. I also think ordering someone else's coffee would be awful. Like, I don't... Like, there are, I will say, three people in the whole world that I trust to order coffee for me. And that's it. Like, no one else should be ordering coffee for me. 
Well, I guess, I mean, plain coffee's fine, I guess, but not an interesting one. Well, I do, since I'm the only one working here. Oh, pride ourselves on speedy service. Okay. Uh, the only one, or you own the place? Something like that. It's a long story. Too long for somebody whose date is coming soon. Aw. 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 <laughs> anyway, please drink your coffee while it's still hot. Guy's pretty late. Maybe he's lost? Hmm. I'll go for the hopeful answer. I should message. Whoa, I have icons. Okay. Messages. Guy from bar. Hey, nice meeting you. Want to get drinks? How about coffee? Sure, but I don't know any places. You don't know where coffee is? All right. There's one across the street from the bar, the one we went to last night. Sounds good. See you at seven. See you. Hey, where are you? Tom, question mark. <laughs> Got your number from a friend. I agree, Greg. It's great. Got your number from a friend. This is Tom, right? Don't know who you are, but I'm not Tom. Probably got the wrong number. Sorry. No problem. Good luck finding the guy. I think I think this should be an X instead of a question mark. <laughs> Not Tom. Leo. Hey, did you message Tom yet? He's definitely your type. Tom? The guy I met at the gallery last week. You mean the guy who scribbled something illegible on the back of a flyer and handed it to you? Yeah, him. Tell me how it goes. I'm not that desperate. What? Tomato garden. $50 fertilizer. More tomatoes per click. $10 hand. Am I playing cookie clicker? As a gardening game? This is what in the hell? <laughs> This is great! What is this? Okay, so, I mean, I think it's probably exactly what it seems like. If I... Are you gonna auto-click? Okay. I don't understand quite how that's working. Not worth doing if I'm only going to get that many. Okay, well, then I will leave that and see if it. Okay, there it is. I should have more patience. Oh, I'm drinking my coffee. Can... I want to talk to Home Skillet. Can I get more coffee? Hmm. Oh, okay. No reply. Maybe he's... Oh, boy. You know... No. He's not coming. No more coffee. Might as well go... Ah, uh, no more coffee. I see you finished your coffee. What? Where'd you... Where'd you come from? Ha ha, just from the kitchen. Would you like anything else while waiting for your date? Uh, er... <laughs> uh, um, sure. Um, yeah, I'll get another drink. While waiting, yeah. What would you like to order? Oh, I get one option. I'd like the same drink I had earlier. A cup of my specialty, then. Your specialty? A flat white. <laughs> you remembered. <laughs> I didn't mean to say that out loud. 
Speaking of internal monologue, Greg, I do my best. Especially when I have a cute customer. Uh-oh. Wait, did he just say? He did just say. I'll be right back with your order. Now I can't leave. Why did I order? I'm an idiot. I don't even like coffee. <laughs> Another flat white just for you. Please take your time and enjoy the drink. Take your time. Does he know? He definitely knows. Take your time. Uh, just paranoid. Guess I should drink? I have some tomatoes. Oh, there's more messages. Leo, so did you message him yet? Also, a little bird told me you have a date tonight. How's it going? I guess you're too busy to give your best friend Leo the deets. Telco, hello, valued customer. You can check your monthly bill on your profile. Thank you for your patronage. I feel like I have seen a text like that before. Nothing from Guy from Bar. Nothing from Tom. I don't know why Leo's messages are split into two threads. Ooh, almost. There. Cool. All right. I uh, guess I'll drink my coffee. I don't know. I'm too fidgety for this game, I think. I like the salt and pepper shaker. Do my tomatoes need to reach a certain point? I'm guessing not. I agree. And there's something to me that's like this like felt tip marker f feeling art, but also like straight, you know, places where there are like perfectly straight lines that doesn't, it's, you know, not entirely hand drawn, but it feels like this clean this clean art that still conveys mood very well um, well is this this might be forever which is appropriate like the pace of this suits the topic of the game. Aha! There's probably there's there's probably an ending. Uh, excuse me. What? <laughs> or I mean, uh, what is it? Since you finished your drink again, it's last call for orders. Good call, Greg. It's last call for orders. If you'd like anything else, last call. That means last call. Yes, unfortunately, we'll be closing soon. And then the two of them can go on a date. Of course, you don't have to order anything. And you are free to stay until closing time, if you'd like. Would you like to order? I guess. I'll get another coffee. Are you sure? We have tea, too. <laughs> since you don't seem to be much of a coffee fan. Where has this person been hiding? <laughs> How did you... Haha, <laughs> ha, it was fairly obvious. I don't know why you ordered that same drink again. 
when you didn't even enjoy your first one. Ha. Uh, would you like a cup of tea, then? I'd like that. Do you have any preferences regarding type of tea? Something herbal, light on caffeine. I feel like these things are probably the same. Something herbal would be nice. I should have just the thing. The barista seems really nice. Probably feels bad for the guy with no date. That that was very cute. A cup of chamomile tea. It's popular with our older customers. Hold on. <laughs> Helps with sleep, you see. It smells good. It has a light floral taste. This tea is a personal favorite of mine. It tastes better if drunk slowly. Please don't feel like you have to rush. I'll just be cleaning over here until closing. He's just <laughs> standing there. <laughs> Maybe I should talk. But what about? Why am I so awkward? Should we talk about tomatoes? Oh, there's a cat. All right. Oh my god. Come on, man, you must have had time to reply. I'm stuck at home watching TV and it's really boring. Treat me to some juicy date info. Hey, 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 hey. At least send me an emoji or something. Jackie, you have to sit down. I have a, I have a cat here. Well, unfortunately, I cannot reply. Or I would definitely send an emoji. All right, I'm not gonna finish the drink. Um, yes. <laughs> Wait, um, I, yes. Um, if you want another drink, you'll have to come again another time, I'm afraid. No, that's not, I don't, that's not why. Um, that is, I, what I want to say is, yes. This is really awkward. Ask something, anything. Um, so, uh, long story? What's the long story? Pardon? The long story behind how you own this place. Oh, I did mention something like that, didn't I? It's a bit too long to get into now, I think. Oh. Sorry. Oh, um, that's okay then. I'm just gonna, um... I'm just gonna go then. Yeah. Wait, thanks for the tea. Ah, think nothing of it. Wait, what? <laughs> I... Haha, <laughs> you go first. This is adorable. You said... Wait, I believe, is what I said. <laughs> Come on, why? Why indeed? Perhaps because I wasn't finished speaking yet. But you were in such a hurry to go. What did you want to say? The story is a bit too long to share with you now. But if you'd wait until after I closed the cafe, I could tell you the story in full. That is, if you'd like to hear it. He he is, isn't he? He is, isn't he? <laughs> what do you say? I'd like that. 
Then, if you don't mind, just wait there for a bit longer. Wait, wait, wait. Did I just... Calm down, me. I'm sorry for the wait. No, not, not at all. Sorry for the trouble. No, haha, -ha, it's my pleasure. There's a lovely tea shop just a bit of a walk from here. I'll just lock up after us then. Sh shall we? Yeah. Closed. That's great! Super cute. What a weird little game. So, <laughs> this was Penguin Cafe. <laughs> Uh, next up is a game called Interview, which seems to be a musical experience. Uh, I've loaded the menu. It has a very... I've picked apparently two games that require a lot of patience. Um, it's got a very slow menu to it. So, uh, I'm going to switch off, uh, for a second, get that game loaded. Oh no! Yes, um, I guess I will keep, well, let me, let me switch off for technical stuff and then I'll, I'll chat once I have interview up. Um, so I will be right back. Alright, so this is Interview by Megan Carnes. I think that's, I hope that's how their last name is pronounced. Um, for some reason, it is extremely loud in my headphones. Um, it looks like you are not hearing game audio, probably. Let me see if I can rectify that. Hmm. Oh, technical difficulties. Hmm. All right. Give me a moment and I'm going to see if I can get desktop audio working because it's not. You should be hearing music and I don't think you are. So, hold on. that figured out. I must have I must have switched out an audio device after starting OBS. Everything is askew. Okay. So, this is interview. Um this probably also won't take very long and then we'll get to the final game. Um but definitely something I should mention uh is that we have started a community survey we want to figure out like where people want to hear about our games or news about us or 
whatever we're doing, like, how do you want to know that we're streaming this week? Um, how do you want to know what we're working on and what we release? And so we, you know, we do blog posts, we do podcasts, we do these streams. Um, and we know that people like to hear things on Reddit versus Twitter versus whatever. And so uh, we're running a survey asking, like, what do you know about our stuff? And how do you know that information? And how do you want to keep knowing? Um, Greg, if you could link that in chat, that would be awesome. Because we don't have a short URL for that that I can read off. Um, and if you take the survey, uh, we are giving away copies of The Majesty of Colors. Um, kind of while supplies last when it comes to iOS, um, but you can pick iOS or Itch or Android, I think. So Greg will supply a link, I'm sure. And yes, I would ask that you take the survey. Um, we really appreciate it. Even if you're like, I've never played your games, but I've seen you stream, or I've only played one of your games and hated it. Um, whatever, we want to hear it um, and uh, and hear what you have to say. So, yeah. So let's see what interview is. Oh, good. More reading. Hello, welcome to... Hang on. Bear with me for a minute. I've lost my... Ah, here it is. Oh, it's so cute. Sorry about that. Let's begin. Pick a number. Ah. Uh, Good. Let's proceed. I apologize for the darkness, by the way. We're often questioned. We've often questioned it, but apparently it's better to start with a blank slate, as it were. Zen. No preconceptions. I have very few preconceptions. Just relax and take each question as it comes. Anyway, first question. Where would you like to be right now? Yes, it is a strange question, I know. I didn't write the questions, if that's any reassurance. These questions were carefully designed by a panel of experts. Do you think this is me? I think this might be me. I was thinking initially that it was the voice. They have been reworked and rewritten over and over and... But you don't need to know any of that to answer them. Where would you rather be? Somewhere high up in the mountains, deep in the forest, under the trees, the open horizons of the desert, a distant tropical beach. Oh, wow. Like right now? Right now? I think, I think beach. Then off we go. Smell that salt air. This is the kind of place where you can really clear your head. Well, here we are then. Yes, we're actually here. It's not a trick. It's always exciting to get out of the office and see where we end up. This part of the interview never gets old for me. Take a moment to look around and soak it all in. be the opening of a guided meditation. Listen. Did you hear that? I thought I heard music. All right, next question. Take your time answering. There's no rush. What do you find most inspiring? Humanity, from our small acts of love and kindness to the grand things we make. 
the beauty and balance of nature and how everything seems to have its own place and function. Looking up at the night sky and the infinite reaches of outer space, there must be life out there somewhere. The many mysteries of our reality. How did we come to exist? Is there a divine creator or is it all chance? What, if anything, is the purpose of life? Night sky for me. line of music. The limitless night sky holds more mysteries than can be comprehended in any one lifetime, and yet it draws us all the same. It's a topic that occupies my thoughts often. There are estimated to be 100 billion suns in the, Mil in the Milky Way. One galaxy out of a hundred billion galaxies. How could Earth be alone amongst all that light? These are the thoughts that occupy my own mind when I have time to myself. The work we do in this office is very strange. The research required to verify a candidate's credentials for interview is slow and painstaking. We spend months poring over every detail in the candidate's files. I do not get much time to myself. The work demands focus. You and I are all alone out here. There's no one else around. How would you feel if I left you here alone? I think I'd be lonely. I'd enjoy the peace and quiet. That would make me anxious. I'd be inspired by the beauty. Hmm. I'd either enjoy the peace and quiet or I'd be inspired. I'd go with my current mood. I would enjoy the peace and quiet. I have always enjoyed solitude myself. You'll have to put up with my company for a little while longer, I'm sorry to say. Nah, you're cool. Whether you prefer solitude or company, time to oneself is important for growth. This place really is something. I try to get out of the city whenever possible. There are so many places to visit. Even with all the time in the world, I'm not sure I'd manage to see everything that I'd like to. Goodness, I'm so sorry. I have completely lost my train of thought. Where was I? Oh, yes. Figuring out how to use one's time and energy is so important. Where has your attention been focused lately? I've been working on myself. I know, this is very meditative. I've been working on myself. Accepting who I am, looking after myself, putting myself first. My important relationships with others. Trying to build bonds and figure out how to negotiate and compromise. My relationship with the world doing things for others, caring for the environment, generally trying to be a good person. Or, I've been asking myself about the purpose of life, whether there is a why to it all. Ooh. Hmm. It's one of the first two. I'm gonna say important relationships with others. Boops. Human beings are social. Or humans are social beings, and unless one lives as a hermit, one must learn to deal with other people. Finding that balance between your own needs and those of the others in your life can be a difficult task, but a worthwhile one. No man is an island, so they say. Who was that? I forget. Wow! Look at that. Marvelous little things, fireflies. There were none where I grew up. I was already an adult when I saw them for the first time. I felt as though the stars had come down from the sky. It 
ecosystems are as delicate as a finely calibrated machine. Each piece that forms part of the whole contributes to how it runs. If one part is out of balance, everything else follows suit. It is estimated that people have been farming for 12,000 years or more. As agriculture has developed, many techniques have increased harvest, helping civilizations to flourish. However, many modern pesticides intended to protect crops cause harm to bee populations. Bees are vital to life on Earth. As they travel from flower to flower to feed, they spread pollen, allowing plants to bear fruit and reproduce. Without them, crops will struggle. Humans are part of the ecosystem, just like animals. Every person has their own contribution to make to society, their own role to play. They'll never stop being magical to me, fireflies. Look at them go. I'm so sorry, I'm getting lost in my thoughts again. The human race has left its mark on the planet. Many advances have helped make the world healthier, safer, and more connected, but others have led to violence and cruelty. How can people do their part in making the world better? As someone who's coded a game with generative music, this is impressive. impressive. I wonder if there's a stem for every choice. Yeah, I'm curious when if however this wraps up we'll at least start another one or maybe do two and see what happens what the differences are more opportunities for creativity and innovation a greater commitment to caring or a greater interest in learning i think a greater commitment to caring Many of the world's problems could be addressed by an increase in kindness. I mean, it doesn't address systemic. Anyway. Would so many die in wars? Would so many starve? Would so many suffer illness and disease? Surely not. Getting people to care more about the world around them. <laughs> people, plants, and planet. <laughs> <laughs> could inspire new solutions to old problems. I mean, maybe if we get the right people to care more. Maybe the problem is that some people don't get away with not caring. By the way, if it were within your power to make a better world, would you welcome that responsibility? <laughs> no way. But I would pick the person who would. <laughs> <laughs> it is wise to know one's own limits, yet I suspect you would find plenty worthwhile about it. What changed? I didn't catch what changed. That concludes the interview. Just look at this place now. And do you hear that music? You do know what this was all about, don't you? Am I being interviewed for the position of God? Jackie says yes. Do you recall how you got to the interview? I don't. Ah, yes, that happens sometimes. Okay, I have a cat over here. It's a very delicate matter. Forgive me, I'm just checking my notes. Jackie, stop it. Well, I'm sorry to say that you have died. Aw, oh, hell. What? I'm sure that's quite a shock. Please, take some time. I can't be dead. You're lying. How did I die? What happens now? Uh... What happens now, I think? 
I'm glad you asked. After death, some individuals are selected for interview to assess creative and ethical aptitude and... That's all technical jargon. The interview helps us decide if you would be suitable for a position in research and development. Creating new worlds. That's pretty baller. I could create a new world? <laughs> Not worried about who the us is. Well, just look at what we've accomplished in just this interview. As I mentioned earlier, it's not often that people get sent here for interview. You're the first candidate we've had in weeks. It's not up to me. I'm just here to ask the questions. It's entirely up to you. This is really just a taste of what you could do. There's no need to rush your decision. Stay here. Relax. Think it over. Enjoy what we have built here together. Take your time. I shall leave you to your thoughts. Well, that had an ending. <laughs> Should I try another one and see another location? Yes, I meant to mention the Kickstarter. Um, I don't know if it's Kickstarter specifically. Um, Yes, thank you for linking to that. You like tarot readings, right, Gregory? I bet it's lovely and awesome. Instruments include a tuned wine glass, or a set of, alto flute, and I missed the bottom one. Kickstarter backers. One cannot click through. Maybe escape? Okay, escape works. Sorry, Kickstarter backers. Let's do one more at least start it and see oh rock on that's awesome oh kickstarter okay so i'm going to speed a little bit through this intro text Pick 167. Guessing that's a seed of some sort. Ah. That does not seem to be doing anything. All right. Where would I like to be right now? Oh, right. We have to get through the incredulity first. I'm going to say deep in the forest. Then off we go. Look at the... This is lovely. Using newsprint style. Smell those evergreens. Magical. Well, here we are then. Yes, we're actually here. It's not a trick. It's always exciting to get out of the office and see where we end up. Listen. Did you hear that? I thought I heard music.
what do you find most inspiring? Let's see. Humanity. From our small acts of love and kindness to the grand things we make. Ooh. The accomplishments of the human race are truly staggering. Something as simple as giving blood or as awe-inspiring as the Great Pyramids. The Pyramids of Giza have stood there for nearly 5,000 years. 5,000 years! Who among us can imagine creating something that lasts even a hundred years? There's truly remarkable. For good or ill, there's no doubt that people have shaped the earth beyond what any of us can imagine. Ouch. Cat. These are the thoughts that occupy my own mind when I have time to myself. The work we do in this office is very strange. The research required to verify a candidate's credentials for interview is slow and painstaking. We spend months poring over every detail in the candidate's files. Okay, cat, you have to go. You and I are all alone. How would you feel if I left you here alone? I'd be inspired by the beauty. Definitely getting completely new. Well, I guess there's like the very, very early base line was the same, but everything that's been layered on top so far has been different with the different choices. The interview's not over. I'm not leaving yet. Whether you prefer solitude or company, time to oneself is important for growth. to get out of the city whenever possible. There's so many places to visit. Even with all the time in the world, I'm not sure I'd manage to see everything that I'd like to. Goodness, I'm so sorry. I've completely lost my train of thought. Let's see, where's your attention been? Where's my attention been focused lately? Okay, so last time I said relationships. Um, Let's say my relationship with the world. Doing things for others, caring for the environment, generally trying to be a good person. It is. It really is. I think this... I mean, I think this is working. It's just... It, I mean, there's no just about it. Like, just... I read it before. It's fine. It's good. Every person has to figure out how best to live in the world. Making it a safer, kinder place to live is a worthwhile use of your time. Doing what feels right is its own reward. Wow, look at that. It's a Lucy! Hi, Lucy! Marvelous little things, fireflies. There were none where I grew up. I was already an adult when I saw them for the first time. I felt as though the stars had come from the sky. So this is my second loop through this, Lucy. Every time it asks me a choice, the music changes uh, based on what I pick. And so I'm not like super closely reading this text because I have already done so. Uh, ecosystems are as delicate as finely calibrated as a finely calibrated machine. Each piece that forms part of the whole contributes to how it runs. Ooh, sea otters. This is different. Sea otters live among offshore forests of kelp, underwater plants that stretch all the way from the seabed to the surface. By eating the sea urchins, which feed on the kelp, the otters protect the kelp. But when the otters move on to another area, or are hunted by humans for their fur, the unchecked urchins decimate the kelp forests. They destroy the home of countless other creatures, including fish, birds, and seals, as well as the otters. Humans are part of the ecosystem, just like animals. Every person has their own contribution to make to society, their own role to play. 
never stop being magical to me. Fireflies. Look at them go. I'm sorry, I'm getting lost in my thoughts again. The human race has left its mark on the planet. Many advances have helped the world be... have helped make the world healthier, safer, and more connected. But others have left to violence and cruelty. How can people do their part in making the world better? So I picked a greater commitment to caring last time. I'm going to say more opportunities for creativity and innovation. I think these are problematic answers, but... Creativity is the lifeblood of progress. Each new challenge must be approached with imagination and flexibility in order for us to all move forward. All steps forward, whether a great art movement or a vital techno technological innovation, are driven by creative thought. By the way, If it were within your power to make a better world, would you welcome that responsibility? Well, now I know what I have to pick. <laughs> so last time I said no way, so let's say yes, I think so. We all fantasize about having the power to make things better. Of course, that old saying about power and corruption exists for a reason. Concludes the interview. Just look at this place now. Do you hear that music? Oh, saying was no way bad? Uh, you'll see why. <laughs> you'll see why. Ooh. You do know what this was all about, don't you? Uh, no, actually. Recall how you got to the interview. I don't. Ah, yes, that happens sometimes. It's a very delicate matter. Forgive me, I'm just checking my notes. Well, I'm sorry to say that you've died. I'm sure that's quite a shock. Please, take some time. I can't be dead. You're lying. How did I die? And what happens now? Yeah, oh no. Exactly. Uh, I think I'll ask. How did I die? Let's not go into that just yet. It's fair. After death, some individuals are selected for interview to assess creative and ethical aptitude and... That's all technical jargon. The interview helps us decide if you would be suitable for a position in research and development, creating new worlds. Us? I would create a new world? I'm gonna go with us. Management. <laughs> As I mentioned earlier, it's not often that people get sent here for interview. You're the first candidate we've had in weeks. It's not up to me. I'm just here to ask the questions. It's entirely up to you. This is really just a taste of what you could do. There's no need to rush your decision. Stay here. Relax. Think it over. Enjoy what we have built here together. Take your time. I shall leave you to your thoughts. I did. I did get those. Because I said, um... I said, what happens next? Instead of asking about the death. Um... And instead of us, I picked whatever the other option was. So 
So that's, that's pretty damn cool. This is awesome. So, as Greg mentioned, Megan Carnes is doing a crowdfunding for a tarot-based composition, musical composition game. Um, so, I, I'll say similar concept, but like, you know, not surely not exactly, but music and tarot readings. Um, so, check out their work. Thank you. Um, and I am going to change to the third game, which is We Know the Devil. This one has some content warnings, so I'm going to look them up. <laughs> I remembered just now that there are content warnings. Um, I'm going to switch games and refresh my water. Um, so I'll be maybe five minutes, probably less, but stick with me and I'll be right back.
back. I always look so tentative because I'm never sure if settings got messed up with streaming while I walked away from my computer. Fresh water, fresh game. This is called We Know the Devil. These are by um, Pillow Fight, who are the same people who made Heaven Will Be Mine, which I'm currently playing also. Uh, this game is about, th I think, particularly three characters that have planet names, much like uh, Heaven Will Be Mine, that are queer people at a religious camp. So, like, not good. Um, I don't, other than that, I don't really know what this game is. I was like, hey, I like your other game. Let's play this. Uh, it costs $6.66. So, uh, expect some, I would say, critiques of Christianity. <laughs> uh, we will see where that goes. Let's play a new game. We're drenched in sunscreen and bug spray and incense. We feel gross, look gross, smell gross. We're sunburned and bug bitten and behind us is the devil. Every annoyance of summer nipping at our heels. Being in the summer scout sucks incredibly. The cabins are stuffy, the beds are gross, the food is grosser. The counselors only sing about Jesus and they won't let us have a transformation sequence. What? Okay. We can't wait. Oh, we can't wait until a week from now, when the three of us are home in our beds. We won't have to think about what we do or don't deserve, and we can leave cleaning up the devil to someone else. Jupiter. Yeah. <laughs> so say we all. <laughs> Jupiter. Ow. Ow. Venus. This art is cool. Okay. Uh, Venus is. Oh my god, are you okay? Oh, totally. Totally fine. This music does not suggest that anybody is totally fine. Ow. Are you sure it looks so bad? It's nothing. It's okay. Neptune. It literally looks like it fucking killed you. I totally... Totally promise I'm still alive. Okay. Don't fall asleep with a concussion. If you do, I'm calling 911. I hope that alarming music made it into the title as a content warning. Uh, Jupiter. Haha, ha, I won't. Neptune, <laughs> do, please, take me with you. Laughing off a head injury isn't all that Jupiter's good at. She has the best grades in class, and coaches make her starter on whatever team has the most pressing need for someone who could do sports. She's a perfect role model, except for how she always misses the winning goal, and she always blanks on the last question. She leads when no one else wants to, which is always. Jupiter clutches at her head. It hurts a lot. She thinks about hands gently pressing into her temples. It's a relaxing thought, until she feels the texture of fingers on her scalp. Jupiter snaps a hair tie against her wrist. Are we late already? I think we left pretty early. <laughs> that does sound significantly better than Jesus Camp. We've been walking for a long time, though. I don't think so. Maybe? Not that long. Well, not too terribly long. I guess it's kind of been a while. We're not late already, are we? Absolutely. It's 6.06. Why? Oh no. I told you so.
idiot heart jerk face. Ugh, how much longer are you and Summer Scouts for? <laughs> Resting witch face. Another week. FML. This is the worst. Idiot heart jerk face. I will pray everyone dies. Resting witch face. Stop giving me false hope. We're close, I'm pretty sure. We have to be. I'm fine as long as we're not the last one there, right? It is utterly assured that they... <laughs> okay. It is utterly assured that they are already there because they did not have to do any of the complete bullshit we just did. Resting witch face. I am genuinely sorry for my horrible life. <laughs> Happy hunting, LMAO. Fuck you. Neptune didn't tell us because she was too busy talking with her friends and doesn't care how much trouble we get into. Or maybe she didn't want us to worry for as long as we didn't have to worry. Neptune is very kind, or possibly super mean, and hates us. That's okay. She's really funny. Neptune looks in no way like she's supposed to be there. But that's why she's there, of course. For a moment, she's about to say something. But it catches in her throat, and she coughs instead. Oh, over here! Where? See? That light. I don't see anything. It's right there. Off. It's over here. And there's the bonfire. And here's my agitated cat. We're not too late, right? <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. This is upsetting. This is more upsetting than the music. <laughs> Bonfire Captain. Haha, <laughs> 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 Group West's finally here. Kind of early for you guys, huh? I didn't hear y'all swearing, did I? I can't not do a country accent. I shouldn't. <laughs> no, sir. No, sir. Nah. <laughs> oh, God. Okay. Haha, <laughs> sure you weren't. We promise. Oh, I believe you. I don't know about the rest, though. Ah, um... Venus smiles in that way that makes everyone there want to punch him a little. But that's all it takes for them to forget we were even late. Venus can smile and laugh nervously through anything, and the rest of us are invisible for as long as we can endure the second-hand embarrassment. Sit down, everyone. Bonfire Captain throws more incense in the fire... The sticky, sickly, sweet smell is the worst thing about camp. <laughs> Venus is one of the good ones. It's not necessarily a pleasant thing to be. No. It's a terrible blend. Termite-eaten wood from abandoned churches. Dried daylilies from the sides of country roads. Singed wire from burnt-out radios. Dubious apologies. Ashes of Monsters of the Week. Gross. Venus sits with his legs crossed, taking up as little space as he can, which is at most not very much. Neptune remains mercilessly fashionable, <laughs> watching the other groups like they're the entertainment. Jupiter pulls her legs up and rests her chin on her knees. She's bad at posture, but she's good at being comfortable. She likes the security of holding her whole body. Oh god, thank you, Greg, for for pointing that out. <laughs> it's the most camp ass necklace. There's a perfect balance of usefulness and yet liability to the try that again. There's a perfect balance of usefulness and liability to the young, for which the summer scouts are the most perfect solution. Everybody having a good time? No one is. 
or has much enthusiasm to fake it. <laughs> no one can explain their eyes. <laughs> I said, is everyone having a good time? But the captain can be motivating. I said, is everyone having a good time? And doesn't quit until everyone's at least put forth effort into faking it. Yay. Yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This is bullshit. That's more like it. Still a little quiet in the West. Fuck him. <laughs> Snort. Um, sh sh the bonfire captain picks up his guitar. Neptune doesn't even try to hide her look of pure offense. None of the counselors like to talk as much as he does. He must feel like he needs to give the sermon since he's in charge. But we know the counselors wish they were somewhere else as much as we do. You know, I wasn't the most popular when I was a kid. I got into my share of fights, but I had a couple of guys I was best friends with and we stuck up for each other. Whenever my parents asked if I wanted to bring one of my friends somewhere, I'd say, I want to bring both of them. Oh my god, please tell me one of them is Jesus and the other one is someone else. Religious. I thought I was doing this great thing, not holding one of my friends over the other. But secretly, I thought one of them was kind of annoying. And he kind of was. He whined, and wouldn't go along with us sometimes. I felt pretty bad about that, so I tried to be an even better friend to make up for it. What is... what is this blotch? <laughs> I thought... I thought if I could work even harder, I'd be able to make up for him. But actually, I wasn't helping him at all. He wouldn't have thought it. I wouldn't have thought it. But in the end, he was the one that got into deep, deep trouble. I probably could have stopped it if I'd told him to cut it out and man up instead of basically doing the opposite. Yeah, man up is always, always going to go great. Some friendships you can keep up. The rest you gotta leave to God. Ugh, Jesus, how long will this go on? There's no mercy in this world. <laughs> you think we're going to the cabin tonight? I don't know, probably not. Good one, Jupiter. But there is no mercy in this world. It's our last week at camp, and they, have a sent they haven't sent us there yet. And that loser has it in for us so bad. Maybe we won't have to go. I'm feeling optimistic this time. Why? Yeah, why? Uh, because... No, seriously, why? Why would you ever think that? Hey there, Group West! Feel like meeting the devil tonight? Okay. This... <laughs> Damn it! Oh no. Told you. Don't worry, guys. I hear hardly anyone ever dies. 7 p.m. Oh, this is a good face. This is a very good face. He was pretty mad, huh? He's just an upset puppy. He'd have been less mad if he hadn't been texting the whole time he was yelling at us. The captain will live. I thought he was going to knock it out of your hand for a minute. Ha, oh, God, I wish he would have. <laughs> You're just chock full of references, Greg. <laughs> hey, Venus, you got it? Venus. Venus. What? Don't zone out. Do you want to die? Sorry, I thought I saw something. 
This diode shattered. Can you pass me a new one? What? <laughs> Jupiter climbs up on the pole to pass a new crystal to Venus. Neptune keeps watch, but actually she's mad because fixing the sirens is stupid and menial, and there's no reason they should have to do it. Neptune refuses to participate unless we're cutting corners. Here, Venus. Oh no. What? Oh, look who it is. Group South. <laughs> I can't with the, with the chili bowl haircut over here. <laughs> <clears throat> Group South says <laughs> says hey <laughs> This game is resonating with y'all <laughs> in a way that I am both sorry for and I am there with you. Y'all, I just realized his his face is on his shirt. <laughs> hey. 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 <laughs> oh my god! I'm dying. <sighs> okay. <clears throat> what is there? Okay. Sorry. I can't. <laughs> Group South is awful. Group South doesn't really look the same, but we can't remember their names or tell the difference between them. Which is super mean of us. No wonder they hate our guts. You guys got the lake sirens. We got the forest sirens. You guys got the lake sirens. You check your own sirens. <laughs> the, f the, fla the, the flame undershirt? I don't know. <laughs> the, the haircut ruins it, though. <laughs> You guys got the lake sirens. You should leave. <laughs> Lucy! <laughs> uh, the bonfire captain told us these ones, guys. Yeah. Why are you lying to our faces? Do we look completely stupid? Yeah. That's what he said. Venus must have heard wrong. That's what he said. He said Venus would screw it up again. That's what he said. Venus sucks and should go home immediately. Group South does everything perfectly and is the fucking worst. The best kids in a camp for bad kids are absolutely certain to be the fucking worst. I should play more games that let me cuss on stream. Like, as part of the game. Instead of me yelling at the game. Oh no! Okay. I oh, Okay, this makes much more sense than it did in the screenshot. Okay, so Venus and Neptune, or Venus and Jupiter. I'm gonna go for Neptune. I'll go take care of the next one, guys. Catch up, okay? She goes, but Group South doesn't. They just watch. We can't focus on what we're doing or enjoy it while being watched by someone expecting something who won't say what and won't leave. Venus keeps getting distracted by the lights, and Neptune is keenly aware of the pit in her stomach. There's truly nothing ruder than denying us distraction. And not accidentally click something down there. God. Seriously, what do you want? <laughs> Nothing? Nothing. You're cool. Nothing. You're cool. He's the one in trouble. Really? I must not be, since the captain's not here. Group South stares at Venus. Venus ignores them. They can stick around if they want. We can pretend to fix the siren all night. Hey, Venus. Hey Venus, you're taking a while. Hey Venus, you're taking a while. Need help? <laughs> no. Captain said I could do it alone. Go away. It's distracting. Don't you have somewhere else to be? Isn't the 
captain gonna be mad if he sees you slacking off? Nah. He was pretty pissed off last time, wasn't he? Nah, we're supposed to be here. Everyone was laughing. It's Venus's fault. Nah, we're supposed to be here. It's Venus's fault. Haha, <laughs> God, I wish. The worst thing Venus has done is not fuck up hard enough to get us all kicked out. What is your problem, trying to get him to do something right, when you could be doing something productive like fucking up and getting us all sent home? Yeah, ask him. Yeah, ask him. Yeah, ask him. <laughs> the captain doesn't like you. Hey. I don't know why he doesn't like you, but the more you try to get on his good side, the worse he'll make it for you. He doesn't need a reason. He hates it when people try to get on his good side. You... He hates it, because it's like you're telling him what to do. Fuck it. Fuck it. Fuck it. Venus, you have to be done by now, right? Venus. Venus! Oh, yeah. I finished a while ago. What are you even looking at? Oh, it's nothing. Don't worry. I'll come down. <laughs> the captain fed the wrong wolf. <laughs> Venus comes down from the siren, which crackles softly with the faint static of the radio again. It's louder than normal. God is already warning us. Um, what? Thanks, and, uh, sorry for fucking up all the time. I literally don't care. They're idiots. They don't get it at all. They're obsessed. They're so obsessed with you, it's so weird. They hate me, though? Obviously. Is that supposed to make a difference? Does it not? Oh god, I really wish you would fuck up so bad that even the captain hated you. It'd be a good look for you. Oh. But I don't think I actually could? Mess up on purpose, I mean. It's literally as easy as doing nothing. I know. Sometimes it feels harder to not do something than to do something. I wish I was a little more like you. You deal with this stuff so easily. Venus. Yes? You're never allowed to think that I have it better off than you. <laughs> Ever. <laughs> it's the worst thing you can do. Oh. I'm sorry? Sometimes I kind of envy Venus. Other times, I really kind of don't. 8 p.m. That was a long hour. If they were messing around. Okay. The road there is through the woods, but not far. We just follow the sirens to where they're covered in vines and their lights don't work so well anymore. Um, it's fine. It's fine. We still can't quite believe it's a house humans are supposed to spend a night in. <laughs> it has electricity, unbelievably. And also illegally, because it could likely burn down and kill everyone. I don't know. So they said sirens, as in lights, but they also... I think they, they probably just meant the buzzing sound of the electronics. I don't know. <laughs> Did your Jesus camp have <laughs> sirens? Oh, oh, I see. The one I went to was a combination, but I'm not sure I would have noticed because I was very afraid of the dark. Venus seems worried here. What is it? I'm trying to think, think of something positive to say, but uh, I can't. It's a work of actual art. 
I'm truly impressed. In all kinds of ways. Seriously, I'm in awe. No ordinary idiot built this cabin. An ordinary idiot would have given up before... Given up long before this. <laughs> A symbolism. <laughs> it truly takes an extraordinary idiot to keep something... Keep at something he has no idea how to do. I pray we never have to meet him. Oh, interesting. Hmm. What? I was just thinking. It's like, guaranteed the captain built it, right? <laughs> That's... <laughs> Venus's face. Spot on. <laughs> if you tell a joke with a face that straight, someone impressionable like Venus is going to believe you and be terrified for the rest of their life. I'm totally serious. Can't you imagine how proud the captain would be of himself? He'd never think he was doing a single thing wrong, right? There's like half a dozen horrifying shacks here. He must have had so much fun. God, hold me, please. You've chilled me to the depths of my soul. Jupiter snaps her hair tie against her wrist. Oh. There's something wrong with the lock. Is it broken? I don't hear any static. It really is broken. What? 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 Why would the lock make static? Okay. That's so dangerous. No one would leave it unlocked like that, would they? No, they wouldn't. They could have broken it and not told anyone. That'd be just like Group East. I think Group South was here last? Or them, or anyone. They're all jerks who'd rather let the next group take the fall than fix it. So what does it matter which one it was? I'm gonna hover over this and see what that is. Ah, no tooltip. Okay. The crystal and whisker look fine. It looks like someone tried to tape it together, but it must have come loose. So, witchcrafty things? It could have already been like this, but this kind of charm doesn't break that easily, I don't think. You just need to make sure the wire is securely touching the Galena. I, should I click the pentagram? What if it, like, exits the game? Oh, it's the options. Okay. Jupiter relaxes slightly. She's more worried about the devil than any of us, but all of us are worried. Though not that worried. Uh, I don't think whiskers and crystals are electronics things. I don't... Yeah. Humans are much more likely to kill you than the devil is. Statistically. Oops. Oh. Alright. Which two do I pair up on this one? <laughs> Electronics, but also witchcraft. Galena crystals and whiskers are things that show up in electronics. Huh. That's cool. Uh, I'm gonna go with Venus and Jupiter on this one. There's probably some wire in the weird little shacks in the clearing out back. Have fun. What? No. Absolutely not. Get out of that shack. What the hell is wrong with you people? <laughs> so, I will pause here and say, you should play Heaven Will Be Mine. Because it's weird as shit. <laughs> uh, no, like, it's not 
photographic, you know, but, uh, yeah, that I have asked what the fuck is this game for quite a while, and heaven will be mine. All right. <clears throat> the shack is full of shelves and drawers, all neatly, maniacally squeezed along the four walls. It's much prettier and sturdier than the one we're staying in, but it's inhumanly small. The house seems to have been built for- <laughs> Sorry. <clears throat> the house seems to have been built for modestly large dolls. <laughs> We have to hunch over to get in, and we can't move without bumping into each other. <laughs> oh my god. Yes, dolls. We have thought of two possibilities for how this happened. The possibility which is weird is that someone, possibly the captain... <laughs> I, I might not be able to read this. <laughs> <clears throat> Someone, possibly the captain, decided to make a 0.6 scale house on purpose <laughs> for 0.6 humans or dolls or fun and then turned it into storage. <laughs> okay. The possibility, which is scary, is that someone, possibly the captain, <laughs> completely finished a 0.6 scale shack before realizing his measurements were off in the first place. <laughs> this is the best. <sighs> if we find the tape, can you fix it? I think so. But it's kind of worrying for it to be like that. Maybe we should call the captain? We could do that. On the seventh day, they rested <laughs> after building their point six scale shack. <laughs> but let's try to get it working first. I'm a little worried. I'm sure it'll be okay if I talk to him. He'll be fine. I promise. I believe in you. Really? Just search that drawer, Venus. Read through drawers again. A little more intently. I'm glad I managed to fit the alarming music content warning in because that is that is what I couldn't fit, and I had to rearrange the title to, to fit it in. Are you scared of him? Got it. Oh, yay. Almost have it. Do you think? Do you think the captain is the devil? Uh, I almost have it. It's way easier than I thought. Phew. A point six scale. <laughs> I'm gonna have nightmares. Phew. See? Nice. I'm glad. I really didn't want to have to go back to the captain. Ha. Huh, yeah. I don't know if it's really that I'm scared of him. But he does make me worry. Oh. Um, he doesn't hate you or anything, I don't think. I mean, he's nicer to you than a lot of people. Why does everyone think that? He never got mad at me, but... I don't like being liked by him. Hmm. That's a state. It makes me think there must be something wrong with me. I don't want to be the sort of person that he likes. It makes me shiver. He likes people he thinks... He likes people he can make a little uncomfortable and won't give any trouble about it. Like us, I guess. Exactly us. We're the only people he likes, after all. I don't think he's going to do anything terrible. No, he wouldn't, but I don't know. Maybe he already did. Like, hey, you don't have to touch someone to touch someone? You know? That sounds weird. Forget it. 9 p.m. Is this cat on camera? Yes. This one 
over here. Yeah, this game is not fucking around. <laughs> this, <laughs> we're supposed it's not funny, but it's funny. Um We're supposed to sleep in shifts, but no one actually told us how we're supposed to do that. Who can fall asleep in an instant and wake up in an instant? On demand. Not us. Jupiter is bad at waking up, and Venus is bad at falling asleep, and Neptune is fantastic at both and on no schedule but her own. <laughs> One way or the other. Sleeping sounds like too much work, so we're not going to do it. If we had one more, we could play Euchre. Is there anything, is there anything fun to play with, four, with three people? No. There's lots of things, maybe? Let's not, though. I miss Euchre. Surely there has to be something better we can do with our lives. I'm very upset at you both. <clears throat> um, what are the things normal kids are supposed to do in this situation? Like, truth or dare or something? That's a bad idea. That's a really bad idea. <laughs> it's a great idea. <laughs> I guess it's an okay idea. Well, it's not terrible. Great. Everyone agrees. It was a wonderful idea. Neptune, you go first. Sorry. <clears throat> Neptune, you go first. Oh, no. <gasps> Euchre can be fun. It's just a sort of game. <clears throat> Why? Because seniority. I'm the oldest, though? Then because for some other reason. <laughs> Fine. So, how do you play truth or dare? Oh my god, are you for real? You alternate truth or dare, and you go around in a circle, and whoever... I need to save you two from yourselves. Oh, that sounded fine to me. No. Okay. Is Neptune alright? Everyone shut up and listen to me. If I go first, like you just said, I ask you truth or dare, and then you pick, and then I think of something horrible. Okay? I cannot believe either of you. Oh, wait then. It's too late. You already said I could go first. <laughs> Own it. <laughs> Neptune has Slenderman. <sighs> I mean, it would fit. It would fit. We just need to place Slenderman in the Christian theology, theological space. Okay, okay. <sighs> oh. Neptune and who? Let's go Neptune and Jupiter. Fine. You then. Truth. Who do you like? <laughs> um. I... You didn't hold back at all. <laughs> There's no mercy in truth or dare, Jupiter. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't really... I will absolutely know. I absolutely will know if you're lying. <laughs> don't dare. Okay. I will know. Jupiter snaps her hair tie against her wrist. Well, then you already know. Just kidding. That's a dumb question. Oh! Snap! <laughs> That's fine. It'd be so boring anyway. It's not like I can actually imagine you fawning over some dude. Haha, <laughs> what's that supposed to mean? You just aren't the sort of person who'd chase after anyone. Like you wouldn't let them think they were worth that kind of effort if they didn't deserve it. Or let them think they were better than you if they weren't. And who is, anyway? No one's that cool. Haha, oh. <laughs> thanks. I think that was just a- I think that was a compliment. Though, probably, no one is ever going to want to date me. 
do you want anyone to date you? Is that your truth or dare question? Damn it, you're too sharp. Neptune, you're the sort of person who'd wish for infinite wishes first thing, just in case it worked, right? Hey, whose turn is it? Oh. But I wouldn't have had an interesting answer either. I would have just said I'd only want to date someone if someone wanted to date me. You're doing it again. What? You're... Okay. I'm gonna guess asthma at this point. But... Or Slenderman disease. Never mind. You win. Venus, you should pay attention. This is how you get out of playing stupid games. Ah, okay. So, whose turn is it? Oh, no, you don't. I told you that wasn't the question. You just went and answered it on your own. Haha, <laughs> fine. You got me. No excuses. Um, I guess that's fair. Of course it's fair. If there's no answer, it doesn't count. Okay, then. Here it is. Ready? Totally. Truth. Who does Venus have a crush on? Um... Hmm. Wait. What if I get it wrong? Then you're in trouble. Still? Not fair. Guess I need to get it right, then. Hmm. <laughs> Venus's face is great. <laughs> oh, it's totally you. Um? No, absolutely not. Illegal. Oh, why not? It's cute. He has good taste. This art is, I think, amazing. And I love the way they have, like, chosen because they went photographic like in the backgrounds. Like, you could do this, like, super... Hi, Greg the Cat. Um, super lo-fi on the front. It, it's just, it just works. And the faces are great. Uh, boo. No. Awful. Absolutely rejected. Ha ha ha. You're not funny at all. Greg the Cat. Neither are you. Eh. Say hello to the camera. It always seems like the sun will never set until we look up and find it already has. The sirens buzz a little louder now. Cat hair all over my face. They always buzz louder at night. The devil is weak and humans are strong. And that is the way it has always been. Even a kid can kill the devil. All she has to do is try. I'm bored. We should make the rounds, maybe? We should do something else. We should make the rounds. Or we could do something else? <laughs> Come on, we have to. It might be nothing, but if we don't check, we'll get in trouble. Or die, you know. Which... Sympathy for the devil because kids can kill it? <laughs> Jupiter pulls herself up by her radio. It's long and thin and delicate, but then there's that awful weight at the end. What? Let's all go. Bring your radios. And leave everything else? Yeah, why not? It's not like anyone's going to steal it. What the fuck is this? What is happening? <laughs> I mean, y'all y'all saw that, right? Pulled herself up by her radio. Which means either there's a fixed radio that is in a strong enough position that could pull yourself up by it. See? Some some shit going on here. What if he comes by when we're gone? Hmm, that's true. Oh, who cares? The captain, a lot, probably. Ugh. I know. But it's not good for one of us to be alone. 
Shit. What the fuck? That's why there shouldn't be three of us in the first place. This is such a joke. It makes sense for two people to go out and one to stay here. Ugh, yeah, fine. Yeah, we should do something else, actually. <laughs> Truth or dare again? Oh, come on. After all that, you already convinced me. I'm terrified of what's gonna happen when these kids, people, go out or don't go out. It's a pain how much the captain cares that the devil shows up and we're gone. Is this what Jesus Camp is like? Look, Jesus Camp is a lot of things. <laughs> The sirens are louder tonight. I can definitely hear something. What are they sirens of? Like, what trips sirens off? What are they... Ugh, okay. No, forget it. I don't want to. Let's just not. He's never gonna know. And tonight's just gonna turn out to be another night where nothing happens, right? I don't want to... Let's, let's just stay here. That's what I was saying. What if the captain comes and checks on us? Nah, he's going home with his girlfriend or whatever she is tonight. Irresponsible. Gross. Whatever. It's so him. He's not gonna bother us. And even if he did, we could say we were totally just about to, or we already did, and how's he gonna know? Static plays when things are nearby. Hmm. Cool. Good. Jupiter sits down and gently leans her radio against the wall. It is easy. It's an easy and correct choice to make. It would have been nice to go together, but we can't. We should do the irresponsible thing and stay in the sleeping bags and piles of clothes until we're happy. Ah, here come the sirens. Ow, they're so loud. God, why won't he shut up? God has spoken. And on that unmistakable frequency. Two of us have to go. One has to stay. Oh my god. I hate that decision. Oh, okay. This is so unfair. It'll be fine. They won't get me that easily. I'll broadcast from my radio, and you'll be able to hear it and come home. It won't be hard. But I don't want to do it. I leave Jupiter swinging her radio and tuning the house radio. Trails through the woods are wide and precise. The camp is supposed to be an easy adventure. <laughs> adventure. The minimum expectations are low. Don't walk off the path. Keep the lights on. Don't let the devil in your heart. Anyone can do that. Well, I guess that didn't work. We were so close, though. We totally could have gotten her to let us all stay. Hmm? Oh, I know. Sorry. I started trying to convince her we should stay once I realized what you were doing. She likes being alone, though, so I think she'll be okay. It's fine. It was silly to try. She's too responsible. Do you think she hates us? It's not even her fault she's at Summer Scouts like it's ours. Venus, can you shut up? Please. Oh. Sorry. Jupiter doesn't hate anyone. She's like an ascetic monk at not giving a shit. People stop people stop walking over her because she doesn't care enough for them to get a rise, and that's the only reason people do that. It's so annoying. Why do you care about what she thinks? I don't know. I think she's cool. I don't want to be a bother. Ugh, of course she's cool. She's 
just all half smile and ah sorry and no one bugs her about anything ever. Do you not kind of hate that she's so cool? Why? I wish I could be like that. Because it's fake. No one is that invincible. If it hurts, you should say so. People are supposed to get hurt by things. It's fucked up to not. It's not good for you. You too, Venus. Have a little more self-respect. I know that. It's not like I'm stupid, you know? I worry about her too, you know? Don't you want to at least make stuff a little easier for her? No. I want to make it worse. Damn, Neptune. I want to make it so bad she has to say it. I want to hear it out loud. You might have the devil in your heart, Neptune. <laughs> she shouldn't keep living like she's never going to get it off the tip of her tongue. I don't think she's ever going to. I really do. Wish I was like her a little. But still. <laughs> glad I'm not her. I wonder if maybe she wishes sometimes she wasn't her either. Maybe. A lot, I bet. Maybe all the time. Do you ever feel like that? Do I ever what? Sorry, I... What? Do you? I... I do, yeah. Let's head back. Sometimes... I do too. It's normal. Let's just get over it. Oh. 11 p.m. You can barely hear the sirens anymore, guys. It's fine. Sit still. You're making me crazy. I'm still a little worried. It's always like this. The devil always shows up when you least expect it. Okay, what the fuck is going on at this camp? You two are unbearable. All we literally have to do is chill. You can do that, right? Right? Um, I can try. Well, not really. God. I should have known. You are both impossible. I'm so glad I brought this. The bottle is half drunk and sticky and smells of paint thinner, sugar, and artificial flavoring. And that is exactly what it is, along with some additives that will shave years off our lives. No need to praise me too much. You can thank me by drinking this until you're no longer anxious and annoying. That's... I'm... Illegal. That is fine, because either I'm going to drink it until I don't care how anxious and annoying either of you are. How did you even get that? Oh, hey, she bought some Baileys. <laughs> I traded this bottle, this fine bottle of Pernicious Rogue, for 20 bucks and my three ugliest shades of nail polish. Aren't I generous? What is a Pernicious Rogue? I haven't ever had alcohol before. Oh god, it hurts just to smell. Are you sure this is something people can drink? Impossible, the both of you, I swear to god. Sorry it's not an Italian red, my darling princesses. I also don't have martini glasses or umbrellas either. But I promise you, adults are lying assholes about alcohol, and all this shit is samely awful. Maybe it's a small bottle of liquor. What you should be saying is, Neptune, thank you so much for getting some with the chaser already in it. You perfect darling. You're saving us the embarrassment of throwing up after our first shot, and you ask for nothing in return but for us to shut the fuck up. You're an angel who doesn't deserve any of this. Um, sorry, thank you. Neptune, thank you so much for... Don't get smart with me. I only have two shot glasses, so who's going with me? Y'all can't share a glass. Come on. 
Hey kids, PSA. It's not samely awful. <laughs> Look, they are in a sitch. <laughs> Would have been two extra bottles of nail polish. Hmm. Let's get Jupiter in the mix. Jupiter, you're gonna drink, right? Uh, please don't tell me you're not. I guess. Peer pressure. You're not cool if you don't drink. Oh no, I am falling for this. Look at me, I'm an after school special. You're hanging out with the wrong crowd. Who knows what will happen? <laughs> yes. Okay, okay. Good. Especially in that, if they go back to that 0. 0.6 scale shack <laughs> that the captain built. Your face right now. It's not, ugh. It's just so sweet. It'd be easier straight. Wait, this isn't your first time drinking? My dad sometimes gives me a little. My mom, too, on Sundays. They're really strict, though. They want me to, like, appreciate it and not do exactly what we're doing and drink horrible shit for the sake of getting drunk. Oh, Fay Fever. <laughs> Well, it's too late now. You've corrupt you're corrupted forever, and the only choice is to drink until you are drunk and hungover, so that you can learn an important lesson about life and peer pressure and whatever. Haha, <laughs> okay, I will drink to that. Bottoms up, bitch. Ugh, yep, still bad. Ugh, how do you stand it? You're barely making a face, and it's infuriating. Another, please. I can't stand it. It's awful. It's unimaginable. Please show me mercy. Another. Are you sure? Um, I'm just gonna read. <laughs> Fuck you. Take this shot. <laughs> ah, ugh. <laughs> what book is that in, Lucy? <laughs> oh, ugh, I hate this. What is this flavor? Fruit punch? Or is it green apple? Maybe watermelon? I can't believe you're not even tipsy. Your father is incredible. Is he Vin Diesel? Is he Arnold Schwarzenegger? Is he Ernest Hemingway? <laughs> Are you the love child of Vin Diesel and Ernest Hemingway? Well, he doesn't care for women or long sentences, if that counts. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's fucking funny. So you have read a book. I mean, it's not because he's mean or anything. He just doesn't like women. Oh. Oh. Wait. Why would he send you here? Sometimes we just do stuff so mom will chill. Your dad is cool. <laughs> yeah, he really is. Another? Okay. My dad said that humans may have made alcohol, but the devil gave them the idea. Your dad has never been more right about anything. The worse it tastes, the more evil it makes you. And every kind has its own sort of evil in it, I think. Alcohol is incredible like that all the same. No, no, no. It's so different. It's so different. Like, red wine makes you lascivious, but also kind of weepy. And beer makes you lazy, but prepared to yell. Oh, yeah? Then what does this make you feel? Hmm. Like, I feel like I want to break a window. Um. <laughs> You're right. Fuck. I'm gonna throw up on everyone. <laughs> Ah, <laughs> you are not sober. Neither are you, miss. It's written all over your smug, lazy face. I can tell. Ha ha. Oh. 
No, it's true. This is a tragedy. How will my reputation as number one untouchable tomboy prude ever recover? God, don't complain. I got most touchable, and it's not even true. I'm not even half as bad as those sluts in Group Southeast. Leave me alone, please. People think you're cool, you know. They are wrong, and also jerks. Camp will be over soon anyway. Assholes. Fuck them. Fuck them, Jupiter. Haha, <laughs> yeah. Let's do another. Haha, <laughs> fine. Oh. Ah, uh, you shouldn't drink so fast. Uh, no, it's not that. Are you okay? Oh god, I itch. Yeah, they just they just went into southeast, like, so now you're looking at diagonal directions. I itch? In the lungs, perhaps? What is this? Uh, and I am agreed that the devil is a real thing in this world. The sirens went off, after all. Neptune? It's okay. I... Stop. Damn it. Not here. Come on, let's go to the bathroom. Don't throw up here. I'm fine. Don't. Cough, cough, cough. Neptune? Don't look. Are you? I'm fine. I'm fine. Seriously, I'm fine. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm fine. I just felt a little sick. I can do one more. One more. Disgusting forever. Okay, what is wrong with Neptune? Like, that's going to end very poorly. Are you sure you're okay, Neptune? Fuck off, please. We're finish finishing this goddamn bottle and nothing will stop me. Am I drunk? Am I still drunk? This is hard. I don't get it. <laughs> Neptune, have a glass of water. <laughs> How are you supposed to tell? This bottle is almost empty and you two babies... And you two are babies and that is a 100% objective measurement. We are. That thing. Drunk. Excellent work. Ten points to Hufflepuff. <laughs> Wait, stop immediately and say that again. Uh, I mean... Venus is drunk and also hearing things. I totally wanted Hufflepuff, but the quiz put me in Slytherin. Oh, shit. Are you serious? Same. Oh my god, really? But wait, I see it. <laughs> You're just like, what's her name? You know, Nymphomania something? The one with the cool hair and intense expression and kind of gay? <laughs> exactly. Wait. It was Nymphadora. Oh my god. Oh my god, she hates that she goes by her last name, and how the hell are you still sober enough to be able to pronounce and remember it? I'm not drunk. Ha. Aha. Venus. Come here. Okay. I don't know. Do it. Um, okay. Uh... Sorry, Jupiter, but Venus says I'm supposed to hold you down until you drink. I'll drink it. What? Boo. You... <laughs> what? Boo ruined. You are both no fun. Gah. Oh my god. Are you drunk? Is it finally possible? Ugh. I need a second. We did it, Venus. Thank you for your support. That's the power of teamwork and good finding. Ten billion points to us. Good job, you two. What are we playing next? What are we playing next? What a good question. You already did truth or dare, I guess, but there's probably something more awful and worse, right? Oh, like seven minutes in heaven? Oh, God. <laughs> Oh my god, perfect. That's the worst, dumbest idea. Yes. No, wait, that's not... I will win. <laughs> Do you win? 
do you win at that game? Like, as looking at, like, the entire team of people playing? You can't- okay, good. You can't win it, though. Ha <laughs> God, let's. Bravery is for that other house. I declare it my turn. Oh, dear. <sighs> Y'all, tell me what to pick. I feel like- I feel like things are winnowing down. So Jupiter and who? Jupiter definitely wants to kiss both of them, and that's why I, I'm having trouble deciding. Jupiter and Venus. Um, so we are here. <laughs> yep. Um, why? Because that's the game. I thought you were gonna say Neptune, so I... <laughs> what about Neptune? Why not you? You're safe. You're like a puppy. You're harmless. Did you lose your nerve? Except when you talk. Sorry, I just thought... You're so fluffy. Wow. What do you do to your hair? Basically, nothing? We're friends too, aren't we? It's not weird. We're friends? See what I mean about except when you talk? Oh, sorry. People call any group of kids friends, even if they were just forced to spend time together with each other, with each other and actually kind of hate each other, though. Jesus, Venus. I don't know what to do with you. I know, that's why I play dumb most of the time. Like about you and Neptune. But I don't want to get in the way. This music. If you were that worried about me and Neptune, that's actually a pretty cool friend thing to do. Does that make you my wingman? <laughs> Venus's Venus's face is just great this whole game. <laughs> I'm kidding. This is all jokes. That is all jokes. You sure are not like other boys. Huh, thank you. It would be a lot easier if I was, though. Thank you? <laughs> I finally found a compliment you like. I envy boys a little sometimes, too. Isn't that the good thing about them? That they're easier? A more straightforward sort of evil? What the fuck? Boys hate you to your face, at least. At least you know how they feel about you. Yeah, Venus is definitely trans. People say that a lot. Is it true? Maybe this sounds weird, but... Actually, I don't think the boys are any different. I spend a lot of time with boys, you know. And they're mad to your face, sure, but they're always, always mad about something else, too, you know? I don't know how to describe it. They hide what they're mad about by getting mad about something else. And they don't even know it. Like the captain. What's the captain really mad about, you think? I don't know. I thought it must be... I thought it must just be being here, like us. But I think that's not everything. What do you think I'm mad about? You're not mad. What am I, then? I don't know. You're lying. I thought you said you were getting annoyed because I kept talking about it. <laughs> That's all right. What about you, then? I'm mad about a lot of things, I guess. Liar. You're not mad. You're jealous. Shit. Why are you so jealous? It's flattering. But it's weird. I don't know. We're so mean, though. We're mean to you. You aren't at all, and Neptune isn't. I wish I could be meaner. I wish I could be so much meaner. When you are mean, though, it doesn't feel mean. Like you said, we're friends, right? Yeah. You know, you could be a little mean, and we wouldn't care. I don't want to, though. 
Sometimes you're still mean without meaning to be. I know. I hate it. I'd rather get made fun of than be mean. Oh, Venus is just the best. Hmm. You shouldn't say things like that. Why not? I don't want to. I just don't. I know I'm bad at getting every anyone to like me and I'm weird and everyone else can deal even though I can't, but I can't. I'm just going to be like this. I'm not going to be any different. You're asking to get beat up. I don't care. But for real. I said I'm fine. You're frustrating. Jupiter snaps her hairband. Venus feels something tighten around his neck. You ha. Venus? Venus? Ah. Uh, I've got you. I'm... What is this? What? Whose hands? Ha 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 ha. I'm okay. Oh. Oh god. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. It's okay. I'm fine. It's okay. I promise. It's not. It's not okay. What? Uh, Venus is like avoidant eyes in this opening shot here are just too much. As as Jupiter's stare directly into the camera, <laughs> uh, the sirens sirens are still going a little. Mm. Oh, was it? Capitalized? Shit, I missed that. Does it sound worse to you? You're imagining. The room fills up with static from our radios. And there's another sound mixed in with the static, but none of us can tell what it is. Whether it's music, or talking, or some sort of sound in between. The house radio. Is it the captain, or group south? Is it God? It's not the devil. Why aren't the sirens going off? What's wrong with it? I can't tell. I think the signal is too weak. Let's boost it. Venus wraps his radio around the house radio, and Neptune plunges hers into the wood. Jupiter lights the coil of incense nestled in the middle of her speaker. It turns red for a moment. I don't think anyone's signaling. West, Group West, this is Group West. Who's calling me? Even the devil can use radio, you know. The devil could do whatever. And if you worry about every little thing, that's just another way he can get you. Don't you read, Lewis? We're the only ones out here. There's no one else to come after. I don't hear anyone. What should we do? We could... We could ask God? Oh. That sounds kinda... No, I promise. It's easy. We just need some extra wire. I just have to open up the radio box and... Okay, as long as you do all the work, I'm fine with it. Someone should go get wire. Venus can stay here and tinker and one of us should spot for him. Ugh. <laughs> I don't want to go back to the shacks. <laughs> no one should ever go back to the shacks. <laughs> Rock, paper, scissors? Sure. Hmm. <laughs> Lucy. That is very fair. Um, I guess I'm going? Scream if something horrible happens. So, take a moment and think about the fact that it's the person... It's not the person leaving to go to the 0.6 scale shack that needs to set an alarm if something happens. It's the people staying. That's... What is this world? Oh, well, okay. 
do the same, please, as loud as possible. Ah, uh, like that? The worst. Try harder or I won't save you next time. See you guys later. She's okay, I guess. Does that mean you like her? Just work on the radio. Oh, um, is that a no? Are you trolling me on literal purpose? A little? Wow, Venus, I'm almost impressed. You are, deep down, kind of a little shit. I didn't mean it in a mean way. I wasn't teasing. That is so much worse, Venus. I guess I just don't get it? I don't like being mean, and I don't want to be mean. So I try really hard not to be mean. I don't get any of the just kidding, because it's not just kidding. It's just mean. Does it really not bother you when everyone is mean to you? No. I couldn't care less. They're all just simply bad at it. What are they gonna... What are they going to make fun of me for? I dare you to answer that question. <laughs> no, I, I wasn't gonna say anything. Seriously, you totally can, though. I'm an evil bad slut, right? I'm a bitch and a flirt. I'm a bitch because I let people know when they walk over me. <laughs> okay, Venus's face. <laughs> I'm a flirt because boys keep talking at me. And this is somehow my problem, because they can't get over themselves and leave me alone. How is that fair? Why should I get hurt by that? It makes me so mad. Why should I be anything but mad about all this stupid, obnoxious bullshit? Oh. Get it? Yeah, I think so. I feel like I shouldn't get mad, though. Like, you're supposed to turn the other cheek. Ever think people who love to say that just love slapping people? <laughs> I like Neptune also. I like all of them. But you don't have to be like that, you know. You're the only boy here I can stand. So I guess keep doing whatever it is that lets you stay that way. Thanks. Yes, again, I will again rep Heaven Will Be Mine because the writing is so good. You too. It's done. Well, shall we tune in on God? Whatever. We could also try calling the captain again. Hmm, yeah, we could. Just stop. I said I didn't care. Just go ahead. Calling will absolutely make everything worse. It always does. So, I thought that only boy here I can stand stuff. So, at least one of, I think, I would guess that two of the three South people were dudes? Guessing? I, that seems like a co-ed group. So, I don't know what the setup here is. If there was any chance the devil wouldn't come, God will ruin it. But who cares? Of course the devil is coming tonight. So do it. We arrange our radios in a circle. We all, we all hold on to a length of the copper wire. We feel like we're part of a Christmas display. We pray. We don't really need to pray to it. Sorry, I'm just so used to it. I started hearing it in my head as soon as we start, every time. Right? It just pops into my head. Sigh. Same, it's fine. I'm just saying. We hold hands. We're looking for the signal. We can tell the difference between God and the devil. Finding God is pretty easy. He's 109.8 FM.
sorry, having a cat issue. All right. The devil is never on the same frequency, but you sometimes hear a bit of him by accident when you're changing channels. By the time we find God, he's already talking. He never says, for those just listening, he expects attentiveness. What? What? <laughs> I, I agree, Jackie the cat. <laughs> a hand held against the world, to be touched and to touch. Touch is a language unto itself, and it too is a language of power. Thus unto Jupiter, which is also the language of gravity, according... God sounds like every boy you are afraid of talking to at once. Oh. God sounds like every boy you are afraid of talking at once. The fist which can give takes two, and gives by taking, or takes by giving. Just as a word is honest or dishonest, not by how it is spoken, but by he who speaks it, so is the honesty of touch. Stop talking about touch. Jeez, what a waste of time. Shh, let's listen. Whatever. Each of you shall choose. It is certain that the devil is coming. Oh no. It is certain. <laughs> I told you. It is absolutely certain that the devil is already here. <laughs> Parables 1-1. One, one. The devil is only the shadow of man cast from the light of God. The meaning of this parable is that there is no devil. The weather is scheduled for 100 with humidity tomorrow. And now for the news. Jupiter shuts off the radio. I don't want to do this. We should have called the captain. <laughs> what would he have done, even? Something else? It's okay. It's not the end of the world. It's not like being the devil means you're going to die. The devil just happens. What? It's not like being the devil means you're going to die. Don't pity me. Oh shit. I was kidding when I said the devil was in her heart, but... It'll be the end of something. It's me. You can't startle me. <laughs> you cannot startle me like this, Jackie. Don't pity me. 3 a.m. We know the devil. Jupiter has a feeling about her, like she knows too. The house creaks, like someone is squeezing it gently to see how much it can take before it breaks. We look at Jupiter and we worry. She's even more far away than usual. What do we do? We're expecting her to know, but right now she looks so tired. She just snaps her hairband hair against her wrist. And we know. We can wait. Can we? Sure we can. We can keep waiting. Dawn is three hours away, right? Yeah, who is we? It'll be here before we know it. We don't need to know who the devil is. Fuck. It's just a phase. Right? Come on, you're supposed to agree. It's a good idea. Make fun of me, then go along with it. Um, we? We know. It's obvious. I know you know. I didn't think you were dumb. I just... was hoping. I can feel it. It's like a moth flapping its wings, but... I can feel fingers on my face and arms and everywhere. Haha. <laughs> gross. I'm gross. I feel so distant. When did it happen? It feels like just a few hours ago, everything was fine. <laughs> this always happens. 
I always do this every time. I'm so stupid. I'm so... Ah. My hairband broke. There's a horrible sound. The terrible noise of splitting and tearing wood. It's sick. The house shivers. We can't reach her. We can't speak. Not in the storm of hands. Don't touch me. You shouldn't touch me. I wasn't born good. But I still thought I could be. You know, I actually liked when the captain talked about how heaven was on merit. As long as you do good things, maybe you can one day be good. We're ruining the flow of this, Jackie. But then they said, we don't believe that anymore. And it's only what's in your heart that matters. Just when I thought I got it right, they changed it. I can try hard, but I think... God knows my heart isn't really in it. And that was my only shot, right? Mom taught me not to touch others. It's just polite, you know? My dad taught me not to let others touch me. You gotta protect yourself if you're a girl, you know? But if it's only what I feel inside that matters, what am I supposed to do? I can't stop that kind of touch. So what if I just stop trying not to, you know? It feels so strange and weird and bad to stop, but I could. I really could, I think. And how nice that would be. I'm with Venus. The humidity is thick with hands. We feel the sweat peeling off of us and the hands grasping. The devil comes in heat, not like a chill in the middle of the night. The devil sticks to your skin and seeps in your pores. The devil licks at your throat, inside, outside, follows wherever you go. Even the best kid has the devil inside her. This is why we are at camp. We are learning this lesson. Even the worst kids can get lucky and live, while the good kid is doomed just from trying too hard. We hold each other. If you can't, if you really can't, Jupiter, then we don't care. We don't care. You can be like that, and it's fine, and you know we're like that too, right? We feel like that all the time. We would have just given up if it wasn't for you. Y'all are sweet, but don't do that. I won't be happy if you do, and I won't let you. It's wrong to want such a thing. You know that, don't you? So don't do it. I still know that much. Stop looking up to me. We don't look up to you. We never did. We promise, so... So please, don't tr try to make me feel better. I want to touch. I want to be touched. I want to hurt. I want to be hurt. And if you feel the same way, you're as bad as me. I was hoping you'd say... Get behind me, or I'll rebuke you, like you're supposed to do. Won't you let me feel like a real devil for a moment? We don't have to like it. At least give us that much. Uh, okay. Four a.m. On, On Jupiter? There is an ancient storm, bigger than Earth, that's been blowing since before we were born. There's no way to imagine it. It is a storm that can consume everyone you knew, everywhere they had been. The sight of every thought and feeling humans have ever had. Is the audio too loud? game audio. So, for my own... Uh, okay. My... I... I can't...
cannot turn the audio on these headphones down without it going to zero. That is how quiet I have attempted to make it, and it is still very loud. So. <clears throat> Jupiter reaches out to us. She has a hand for every kind of touch. That hand is for hitting. That hand is for petting. That hand is for grabbing. That hand is for holding. We feel the pull on our skin and recoil. They want so many things from us. Maybe everything. The devil is lonely. We kicked out the devil, and it must miss us. It keeps begging to be let back, for us to let it in. And Jupiter did. Every wish of the body belongs to it. Every wish is a hand expressing that desire. And every hand is a storm that is bigger than the world reaching for us. But it will not. The hands don't touch us, and the storm doesn't break over us. We choose to be distant from her. And the devil only ever gets one moment. For revenge, for love, for please take me back. There's nothing to fear when there is two against the devil. Neptune brings the water. Her radio crackles and bubbles and foams at its sharpest edge. What are these radios? Venus brings a light. His radio winds and wiggles and coils around itself. Our radios scream and crash against her, and the devil is destroyed. <laughs> Jackie's very good at punctuation. 5 a.m. Did she do it on purpose? Maybe a little. Or maybe a lot. At least a little. Jupiter just looks so peaceful. It's the first thing that came to mind. We both thought it would be us. So it's, it still feels strange to be looking at her like this. Not in a bad way. We're not upset at her. We just want to know why. Because it was so clear for us. Back when we were walking to the campfire... I thought it would be me. I was so sure. I guess I'm wrong sometimes. Jackie is also very upset. For me, it, it was. I think when we were putting up the lights, I already saw it in the corner of my eye. And then when Group South came, I felt so, well, you know. Yeah, I know. The smell of incense is awful enough in here, but outside the tent, the groups are tying rags to their faces to endure the smell while they try to smoke the whole forest out. We have the privilege of being on watch. It shouldn't have been her. Normally, you're like, don't patronize me. No, you're right. It should have been one of us. Either one of us. I don't care which. Jupiter moves in her sleep. Venus moves a candle out of her way. You're very attentive. Thanks. I keep thinking... Don't worry about it. What are we going to do? Fight over which of us hates herself more? What's the point? Neither of us can beat her. We hold hands. Or, it turned out, we already were. So, we have this, this person here to thank for what we have just gone through, in part, and Alec Lambert for the music. So, I will say, if I recall correctly from the itch.io page, there are three endings. I'm sure you can guess how that goes. And by getting all three, you get a different ending. So there's multiple playthroughs choices made a set of endings that culminates in an extra scary bad ending of some sort which now that I've played Hatoful Boyfriend I'm terrified of what extra scary ending would mean cause yo that game fucked me up <laughs> that game fucked me up uh, 
And this is scarier from the get-go. So, um, well, <laughs> I mean, the devil did kind of win, right? Like, sort of? I don't know. Yeah, I don't... They stab the devil, but they know the devil's gonna be back, I think. Okay, small animal. Come here. My apologies. Jackie is stuck because her stepping stool is occupied by my other cat. Alright. What does this game mean? Well, that's a good question. Yeah, they beat the devil. That's right, it's a two... It was the... The devil can't win when it's two against, I think, right? So, I don't know what the game means. The game means don't send queer people to Jesus camp. That's what it means. <laughs> That's not what it means. Uh, yeah, and it's so, on that baffling ass note... Um, Oh, yeah, that, I mean, that is a good takeaway. I highly recommend that you play this game. Everyone play this game if you can, uh, if you don't mind or enjoy, the thing, or do enjoy the things that are horrific about it, up to and including the music. Um, so yeah, We Know the Devil, it's by Pillow Fight. Uh, I want to play all their stuff. It's good. Um, yeah, yeah, it's, uh, I'm interested as well. I'm interested as well. I, I will probably play more. Um, so let's see what <laughs> every, every time I end a game that has like on stream that has like some sort of very strong ending, I'm like, how do I end this whole, what is, what, what were we here for? Um, I could stream it. I could do a stream per ending. God, thanks, Lucy. <laughs> um, so yes, two things to note. One, the community survey is out. Please take it. Please take it even if you've never played one of our games. Please take it if you hate our games. Please take it if uh, you're here because you like Greg and wish I we're doing something else. I don't know. Whatever. Please take our survey. Um, we want all the details. We want to know how to talk to you. We want to know what you want to play. Um, everything. Second thing is we just released a game, a very small game called Cultivating Insurgency, which is a game about guerrilla gardening, where you are taking on cops in order to reclaim land that's being held from you from farming. So as you're progressing through, um, like Greg's saying in chat, it's a run-based game. So you start with maybe, I forget the number, just a few people that you can kind of place into into um, a combat. And let's say maybe you might only beat one level um, when it resets, based on how much you've cultivated in the land, um, you'll have more troops available and you can make a little further and a little further each time. Um, so it's a small game, we want to add a couple other things to it, um, but it's really based off of a, a jam, the low res jam, uh, 2019. So it's 64 pixels by 64 pixels, um, blown up. Um, but it's a very small game on most dimensions. Now that I say that out loud. Um, another thing is people ask, when are we streaming? Uh, we now have a page that shows when we are streaming. Um, so futureproofgames.com slash streams, which I'm sure Greg will link to, um, we will keep updated with our schedule. And we're trying to schedule, um, try to always have two on the calendar. So Greg's next one is in a couple weeks. I'll be picking uh, the next game to play, which I guess I could keep playing. We know the devil, um, although we've tried to kind of cycle through um, games. So there's that. And then exploit zero day which greg has linked um we have just released uh let me think about how to word that better sorry i'm getting sleepy um 
Exploit Zero Day is a what are, is our cyberpunk uh, story focused kind of social game where you are playing a hacktivist. Um, and our first season of Paid Story is called Headless Swarm, and we've recently released a new the next step in that um, in that series, and so. That's exciting. Um, we're happy to get that done and get some momentum back on on Exploit Zero Day. And we also have been doing code releases of bug fixes and and some small new features and things like that. So um, all the links are in chat. Um, but please do take the survey. I want to hear from everybody. Um, let's see. What else? That might be all. That might be all. My brain is full or very empty. So thank you all um like i said our next stream is in a couple weeks greg is going to be playing a game called totem if i recall correctly um but you can keep up with that streams page to get other info and i think that's it so i think i'm just gonna call it because my brain is fried so thank you all and have a delightful evening and or whatever time of day it is for you um thanks for watching <laughs>